Welcome. In this video, we'll talk about how the reward cycle works for Songbird. And yeah, so Status makes great graphs there, so big shout out to him. And also, you can follow him on Twitter. He makes lots of uh, graphs for the community. And yeah, so this was also another great one, which we will now reference here in this video. So we can see here that every epoch starts between Thursday and Saturday. So during that red time spin here, at some point, the vote power will be locked in. Okay, so that there's like a lo lock-in phase. And, but the thing is that you should delegate your votes by the latest of Thursday, 14 for the one UDC. Uh, if you don't do it, because it will, one random block during these 42 hours here will be, uh, will be more or less uh, the, the login block, but we don't know which one. So it's just a time period, and during this, this time period, the login will happen. Uh, meaning that you should have your whatever delegated, also wrapped your songbird, the latest of uh, of first day. Otherwise, there's no guarantee that the other wrapped songbird you might add later on are included or not included for this re reward cycle. And right, so as we can see here, each epoch starts at 8:40 uh, on a Saturday UTC. So that's the part, and, it, uh, and from that part, so from that point, then the report, rewards epoch starts, and everybody gets rewards until the until well until the next Saturday. So the, we can also see that here if we go to flare metrics. You can see here how it starts. So it now when we can go back further though, but we can see here how the rewards also re rewards rise. So I just noticed that you can see the rewards rise, the ratio rises, 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 and at some point reset uh, the new epoch starts and it, go, it starts from the bottom again. And yeah, so now we're currently at Tuesday and this will go up again until Saturday and then it will drop down again. So this, this is just, just something I noticed. So I, I'm also I'm not that that confident on all these topics. So we'll try to explain to the best of my knowledge, like I said. And yeah, so if you like I said, uh, lock it. Well, if you delegate, wrap the song word and delegate later, um, then the wrapped song with some of them might not be included if you do it too late. So like I said, everything uh, should be done until Thursday. Obviously, you can also do it later, and you might be lucky. But there's no guarantee which of these blocks during these 42 hours will be the one which does the lock in. And right, and then it just repeats again. Like I said, so between Thursday and Saturday is the lock in phase. We don't know when. And uh, on every epoch starts, like I said, on a Saturday, 8:40 UEC. That's the point when the rewards start again. Uh, what else is there to mention? We can check our rewards on the FTSO and click on check rewards. You just paste in your uh, your address and click on check. So um, this is just one example here. So you can see right now that I'm, uh, we see I'm eligible for 10 Songbird. And as soon as the, uh, on, on and they can claim these rewards on, on Saturday. So that's what you can do. Also, if you go to Flare Metrics, you can see when the start was. So the word start was at, so right now this is probably my local time. Uh, so the 9th of October was the word start and the word end will be on the 16th of October, which will be the Saturday. So Saturday 8 for the 1 UDC. And right, so that's how that works. Uh, you can also, like I said, check out the FTSO provi uh, signal providers. So these are the ones you would delegate to. You can see how much loading power each um, uh, FD, uh, well, Oracle FTSO has. And you can, right, so you can see here, we've got the AFTSO, you can also see the reward rates. You can see that, for example, AFTSO is paying 1.135 and so on. And like I said, some, this is just something I noticed myself, um, that you can see that the rewards go up over the time. So during the epoch, the rewards get more and more. So, uh, so the ratio, so you get more over time, at least that's how I, I understood it. So at the beginning of the epoch, your rewards get more, so more, more, more slowly, and it will always go faster and faster. And then on Saturday, uh, it's again, the new epoch starts. But yeah, I'm not quite sure on that. I will also link, like I said, the graphs, all of them, and also will link the website in the description. Um, right, so last thing uh, is that so some people have probably locked in a little bit later and wondered why they didn't receive the rewards. So some people might have even locked in on a Sunday and already waited till whatever, 
till Friday or six, seven days and didn't get any rewards. So maybe that was also the, the cause why some people didn't receive the rewards. So like I said, it it just takes time. I know waiting a week is, well, a little bit exhausting. Uh, and also uh, you have, so this is also mentioned down there, you have 90 days to claim your rewards. So also an interesting metric, you can see here how many, re how much of the rewards were claimed. So we can see 32.7 million, some were claimed in rewards. And the total rewards are actually 82.5 million. So not everybody, so I guess also the current epoch is there included probably. Um, but I guess also, uh, well, maybe also many people don't claim the rewards and they will be invalidated after these 90 days. So they expired. So we can see here right now that no rewards expired yet since Songbird, uh, since we will currently at the third epoch round. So it's only 27 days for now. Oh, my bad, 21 days. So my math is off, um, right? And therefore the, the rewards can expire yet. But after 90 days, the rewards expire. So we can also have whatever, in the next 70 days, we can have a look at that and we might see a higher number than zero. All right, so um, what else did you mention? So like I said, you already know. Um, oh yeah, the rewards are being paid out in Songbird. So meaning that if you want also to, to compound your rewards, then you would have to wrap your, uh, your rewards again. So which is easy, you just go to wrap, enter the amount. So it, you can do it in a Bifrost wallet. You can also do it on any FTSO um, web app, so D app website. So right now, for example, on scanning notes, I like to use that one here. And just click on wrap, click on wrap here. Then I can see that the, how much it costs and can just confirm that. And I wrapped it. Right. And it's done. So right now I just wrapped it and now I can, for example, also, and delegate it, delegating stays the same. Um, you can just, uh, so it doesn't matter if you, if you have a higher stash of wrapped songbird, these, the delegation, um, well, delegation proportions stay the same. So whatever you delegated beforehand and defined, it, it stays the same, but you can change it, but you don't have to redelegate for your newly added songbird. So if you decide to, for example, get 100 more songbird, then you just have to wrap them and they're automatically being delegated. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful there and see you, ne see you in the next one.